Dilated cardiomyopathy is a condition characterised by an enlarged pump, the left ventricle, that doesn't work very well. So instead of the heart beating like this, what it's supposed to do, it does this. So the ejection fraction is about 40% or less. There are many, many causes of dilated cardiomyopathy, but one quarter of all dilated cardiomyopathy is familial. By that I mean it's genetically inherited and runs in families. It's a condition that does present symptoms. Most people with dilated cardiomyopathy are tired, are breathless during exertion, uh, and feel very fatigued, complain of swollen ankles, cannot lie flat. So they usually do present, and that could explain why dilated cardiomyopathy is a relatively rare cause of death in young, apparently healthy people, because most people that have this condition do come to physicians and do come early. The bad news is that people who have dilated cardiomyopathy generally have a bad prognosis. By that I mean that their lifespans are shortened. From the day that you tell a patient that they have dilated cardiomyopathy, their chances of seeing the next two years are about 50%, which is obviously very bad news and sounds very grave. But at the end of this, I've got some good news for you as well. If the condition is diagnosed early, we have some fantastic drugs in the form of ACE inhibitors and beta blockers that should be prescribed early. And my current experience of these drugs is that people are living up to 15 years or more after we've told them that they've got the condition. We have other therapies in the form of internal cardiovascular defibrillators. And in people who've got very bad symptoms or people whose hearts are really, really badly contracting, we can offer them defibrillators to prevent the risk of sudden death. We also have special types of pacemakers called biventricular pacemakers, which coordinate heart function much better. And we can give these to people who are very symptomatic as well. So we've got pills, we've got devices, but sometimes, unfortunately, we have to go to transplantation. And a very small number of people come to transplantation for this condition.